You can turn off the CRT effects, which is nice. But where's the one that I'm actually looking for? You can scale the HUD size, which is really nice. Um, which I should turn on. For some reason, you can, like, set models instead of sprites. Uh, field of view goes all the way up to 120, which is good. But, uh... No, we're not ending. Just changing it to you. Done with DF for the D. But, um... We're gonna play this probably for... I mean, I'm only six hours in the stream. I like to stream at least eight hours of stream. So we'll do at least an hour and 20 minutes of this. Probably more, though. Alright, so... I started a new game yesterday, last night. So I played the first level already. Um... It was kind of easy on medium, so I'm going to crank her up to hard. Um, I don't even, like, I don't even think you'll take damage on ultra easy. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, so this game, it, it, it came out today. Uh, it's in early access. Supposedly, there's about four hours in the campaign right now. It's supposed to have, like, a 20-hour campaign at some point. Um, it's got a full level editor built into the game, which, actually, no, fuck it. I'll load up just to show you, because the level editor is kind of nuts. Like... <laughs> This is a level editor as level editor. Um, bit much for me, personally. Um, press mode. <laughs> <laughs> Games media difficulty. Um, so yeah, that that's that's the level editor, uh, which is lovely. You've never played Brogue with the aesthetic of Chef's Kiss? It's free. You can just go grab it. Exclamation point Brogue is a link to it if you want it. Yeah, it's a full-blown fucking dev tools. It's got uh, workshop support and all that shit. Um, so it's very much kind of like focused on downloading campaign levels for the early access stuff, but. Stop me if this looks like Doom, chat. I will be taking my time because it's fun. You have to spell brogue correctly. Also, the audio design in this is wonderful. Way ahead of you, game. Whee. Hey, Balinor. I like how there's two speed. There's two movement speeds. Fast and faster. <laughs> you really go fast in this. It makes me feel like a waste car. Boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. Also, like, look at how the sprites change as you look at the corpse on the ground. It's just... I don't know. I, I kind of love this game's aesthetic. No, totally, and that's what I'm hoping for, right? Just wait until... Okay, so this, this might have some of my favorite blood effects I've seen maybe ever in a game. Just period. Just, just, just watch. This, this shit's so cool. Yeah, it's B-R-O-G-U-E. Alright, so now we've, uh, you know, released Hellspawn. You know, as you do. Nyo. And you fall. Whee! Uh, I have my camera off, but I have the biggest, dumbest fucking smile. Yeah, it's on Steam. It's also on, uh... It's on Humble. Which, uh, B-Log linked. So, if you want to pick it up, you can support me that way. But yes, it is on Steam. Came out in early access this morning. Let's go.
Cracks Knuckles. Now we're in level one. Game begins now. We're out of the tutorial, basically. Ooh, there's things down here. Yeah, I get it, game. Hold down left button to hold down to do the sights thing. I played video games before. Well, you're a dead person. It does, which is why I was saying earlier, it's like you can turn off the sprites and have polygonal enemies if you want. I don't know why the fuck you'd want that, but... Yeah, no, this is a game that ever since I saw the first trailer for it, I'm, I've been like, yep, I'm ready. I'm waiting. I'll play that as soon as it comes out. Because... I don't know how I get in there, but... Apparently, there must be a way in there. Is there, like, a button I can push? Hi, guys. Hopefully this game doesn't make me, like, nauseous. Is there like a button or something I can push back there? Big complaint. Game's broken. I have to reload. I need an, an upgrade where I don't have to reload anymore. Eh. Eh. Owie. Floor is lava. I like how the first time you touch the lava, it doesn't actually... Eh. There we go. The first time you touch the lava, it doesn't hurt you. The second time you touch the lava, it hurts you. So, by default, there's actually this really big HUD that kind of fills up the whole screen. I'll actually turn it on for a second just to show you. Um, the reason I have it off is because helmets have a tendency to make me ill. This is what the HUD looks like by default. This will make me sick. But, if you just go to gameplay, you can turn on minimal HUD and scale it. Well, let's actually make it a little bigger. So now you can like kind of see everything. Makes things so much nicer. I, I'm so happy they included that. Cause like I can play with the um, normal HUD, the full helmet HUD, but like this is like perfect. This is all I need. I just need to know my ammo and shit. I don't need the full fucking helmet. That doesn't add immersion. It just adds motion sickness. So thank you so much to the developers for doing that. They give you a succulent? Uh, actually, it's missing borderless windowed mode. If there is a borderless windowed mode, I can't find it. So that's kind of a problem. But yes, in general, there are a lot of settings, which is nice. Also, they friendly fire each other. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm here for. And then the guitar kicks in. This is pretty fucking good. Oh, this will be great for speedrunning. Not something I'm ever gonna be interested in, but yeah, I know this will definitely be great for speedrunning. For sure. 100 per fucking cent. Also, because I'm pretty sure you could just run past enemies. And it gives you a time at the end of each level. Like, this this is one of those games that's just completely built for speedrunning. Like, just listen to this for a second. I actually need to turn the game sound down a little bit, I think. It's a little bit loud on the audio line. Put it down to about there. 
Unless you guys want me to turn it back up, in which case, fuck it, I'll do it. I need a red card for that. Stop me if you've heard this one before. I need a red card for that. Oh, come on. There we go. Whee! Secret discovered. I didn't actually find that the first time. Acquired. There you go. It really is super cool. It's this is maybe one of my favorite aesthetics I've seen in a recent release in a very long time. I did get a little bit lost in the um, in my first run through of this level, but not like annoyingly so. There was never a point where it's like, oh, this level design is dumb. I'm disappointed by the lack of explosion radius on that barrel though. Like just, mmm, that's meaty. I love it. Delicious. Fucking delicious. There's a... Hold on. They, like, fucking tease you with secrets. Can I jump on that? Is that a button I can push? Hmm. But anyway. I don't care too much about finding secrets, but... Oh, yeah, also. <laughs> they just straight up give you, like, dual-wielding assault rifles, which is just kind of awesome. It's like, I have a shotgun. Like, there's also just a lot of guns in this game that I haven't unlocked yet, which is nice. Ow. Oh, the thing got too high up. No, of course there isn't. You'll be number one. Here's the thing. I don't speed run, so I don't want people to bug me to do something like that. Oh, there's glass there. Yeah, maybe if I was interested in that, but... But yeah, no, the game came out like, I don't know, four hours ago, so. Of course there's no speedruns. Give it a day. And one thing I will comment on is I haven't found any grenades yet. Give me that. Oh, never mind. I'm dead. <laughs> you have one continue. By default. And you can find more within the level. Got one of its balls. I need to get the other one. There it goes. Popping another quarter, motherfucker. Anybody else headbanging or just me? Like, how doom is that? Look at that shit. It's fucking great. Ow.
Ow. Fucking rude. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really glad that you guys are in it, as into this game as I am because this shit's too fucking cool. <laughs> like, I'm just nerding out over this shit. It's like, I realized that, like, nostalgia can be kind of dangerous and can really cloud your opinions of things, but... I'm so ready to just be abused by this. Because <laughs> this is too good. The ammo runs out on those way too fast. It's very young indeed. It is a very young child of a video game, Axon. This game came out midway through my stream. Although there was no, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, embargo on it. So I could have just started streaming it at the start of today, but eh. Oh. God. These take way too long to reload. So shoddy all the fucking way. The problem kind of with this game is mechanically falling so much behind everything recent. So the only market in nostalgia is possibly for maybe a few curious people. I don't think that this game is falling behind mechanically in any way. Like, aesthetically, it's simple, but I don't think that's a knock against it. I think there are certainly people who are making shooters that people don't make anymore be for the sake of nostalgia, and they do themselves disservice with, like, limited mechanics, but this is just fine. Mechanically. Like, it plays great. Like, it's not like they went 100% down Classic Doom. It's much more along the lines of the Brutal Doom mod than actual Classic Doom, you know? Like, they're not limiting themselves with the art style in any way. I mean, there's no, like, default melee. Oh, also, I should show you the map. Stop me if you've seen this before. <laughs> There's a thing there. I want the thing. It's shiny. I want to touch the shiny. Maybe I'll go touch the shiny now. Oh yeah, I do go touch shiny. Oh, no, 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 I don't go touch shiny now. Okay. Okay, I didn't need to touch the shiny. I didn't want to touch the shiny. Oh wait, hold up. Come on. <laughs> I missed. Set the bar nice and high. Here's the thing. The mechanics that they add and demand of the player in Doom Eternal aren't something that I find attractive in a game. In fact, that level of mechanical requirement is actually a negative for me as somebody who is um, inherently bad at mechanics like that in video games. So I actually don't think of the new Doom as a positive route for video games to go. That's where I came from, right? Yeah. I thought I saw another door over there, but I didn't. Do Humble games show up on Steam? So if you buy a game on Humble, it boots out, a, it emails you a Steam key. Yeah, it's, it's literally a Steam key. Unless they also have DRM free available, which they probably do because it's a Humble published game. But yeah, if you buy it on Humble, you'll literally just get a Steam key. 
Did I miss? There you go. There's a whole market for this kind of game and a few people who review these types of old school shooters. No, like old school shooters, like they're, they're very much is a market for this style of game. Very much so. This game's gonna do just fine. And considering this game's made by a pretty small team, it's, it'll do just fine. I do wish that these had more ammo allowance though. Cheers to whoever just bought the game on Humble. This is a 3D game with a pixel filter. Actually, no, it has two different options. Where's the actual option? Um, use models instead of sprites. Let's go find a baddie. It's not a 3D game with a pixel filter. And if you actually think it is, then, well, it just makes it obvious that you don't know, you, you know nothing about how game development works, which is okay. Neither do I. See? Now you got the 3D models. And I don't know why you'd ever turn that on, because they look awful compared to the proper sprites. I'm gonna go grab that. Oh, never mind. Don't eat it. Reminds you of stop motion. Reminds me of a plastic toy. And that's a good thing. Ow. Oh, I'm actually dying on this difficulty, which makes me happy. I didn't die once on my first run through of this level on medium, so. Cheers, Gate. Not my best time. <laughs> I like how you can rate the map. Which is fun. <laughs> I do hate the UX for this screen, though. I think this is trash, but that's fine. And let's move to the next level and go. Play! They're, it's it's not just a sprite. It's very much 3D models, like, downscaled. Like, it's, it's a very nice-looking game. They nail the art style that they're going for here perfectly. You can not like the art style, but please don't just say it looks like a GIF, because you're not giving the game enough credit. I mean, come on, that blood looks amazing. Look at that shit! God damn! Those dogs? What are those supposed to be? Ok. 
God, they keep booting out blood once they're on once they're dead. That's awesome. Tasmanian devils, kind of. God, that that is so fucking satisfying. I can't even. Mm. And I miss. So you have to shoot them when they lift when they stand up. Grab all that. Ooh. Ooh. Stuff. Something like Lucas would add would add in a remastering? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean by Lucas would add in a remastering? I guess we go jump into a giant portal. Ooh. Stuff. It's worth looking around because you find things. Oh, Star Wars? See, I thought you were talking about like Lucasfilm. Am I supposed to go back here? I mean, I assume so. I think I found a secret, but I think I found it backwards. Okay. That hurt. Yep. Ooh. I found it a rocket launcher. Game just got 50 times better. Nice. Didn't have a lot of rockets for it, but whatevs. Bullet ammo. Excellent. I love some bullet ammo. Who doesn't love bullet ammo? That looks like somewhere I can walk. Probably a place I'll come back from. That's that's quite the investment, Gimper. Best of luck. No, I mean, also, like, middle mouse button, but... I love that they're still giving me tutorials for shit that I've already figured out. It's... Ah... <sighs> this is a game I didn't know I needed in 2020. This is the kind of, like, cathartic stuff I need in my life. Just means they're doing the controls right? I mean, it's literally hold down middle mouse button. Apparently Q, but you can also just like swap with the numbers. But like the amount of guns on here, I, I probably will just use this screen because like there's kind of a lot here. Ugh, feels good, man. All right, where am I headed? Gotta have a button to push or something. I didn't just pick up a yellow key, did I? No, I didn't. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is a very nice shotgun. This charge is very satisfying. Very satisfying. Stand up, you puppy. Or that. Okay, he dead. I hope the stream is doing the uh, all the particle effects justice. Oh hey, a room filled with yellow. That's probably where we find a yellow key card. Hmm. 
Time to go get lost. Still looking for that key card. I'm assuming I need to take a right here. Gotta be in here somewhere, isn't it? Is there like a button I can push anywhere? Hmm. I feel like this is Doom 3 that never came out. That I can't go through. The classic wa turn right until I find what I'm looking for situation. Ah, things I haven't shot yet. Perfect. Must be going the right way. That was a rocket for the rocket launcher. Hey, <laughs> excuse me. Jesus, man. Calm down. Oh, armor. Perfect. I'm gonna stay for a while. Don't uh, screw your day over for tomorrow, Cappy. That's 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 the one thing I gotta say. Like, you know, uh, if you're staying a while, feel free to stay a while. Feel free to enjoy the stream. Just like, don't screw your day over if you got stuff to do. All right, so that's opening up a bunch of doors over there. But there's stuff in there. I want the things. You can't show me things and then not let me pick them up, game. That's cruel. Eh. Eh. Excuse me. You actually, like, decapitate them. Like, it's not even just, like, you shoot them. It's you actually just de... Eh, you know what? Screw it. That's what I needed in my life right there. Mmm. Feels good. Feels fucking great, in fact. Rocket launcher at door. I don't think doors are uh, deconstructible. Or de de destructible Destructible. But this area is all open now. Ammo, large. Who doesn't like ammo, large? Was that a fucking lost soul? All oh, right. Well, we found the lost souls, <laughs> or their equivalent. Like, listen to that music for a second. Like, they get it. They fucking get it. They know what's up. That's our key. Hmm. Also, the level design in this is real nice. They tease you. They kind of show you what you're looking for. Like, I haven't felt totally lost yet. Like, I always kind of know where I'm going. All of these environments feel unique, at least in these early levels. Like, this is such a solid first impression. It's so fucking good. Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> That's happening. Okay, um, let's do that. I want to see this game's idea of a super shoddy, because you know there's going to be one. I want a double-barreled shotgun. Give it to me. Also, hey, George. Why does it look like claymation? It doesn't look like claymation? 
stylistic choice, maybe? At least I don't think it looks like claymation. I think it looks lovely. Everything about this game visually is perfect in my opinion. Oh, no, that's what I'm looking for. This is the most fun you've had with a shooter in years. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is the most fun I've had with a shooter since Doom 2016. I just, I'm, like, not even exaggerating. Like, this is fucking fun. <laughs> I need to, like, breathe for a second. <laughs> Whew, I'm sweating. I, like, unzip the sweater. If I sweat anymore, I'm going to have to take my pants off. Jeez. This game's beautiful. Yeah, if you want to buy this game and support me, that, that link that Gimper just put in chat work. Ugh. So I'm headed up there next. I'm glad you're enjoying it, though, Gabe. Oh, hey, there's... Pfft, I fucked up. There's the yellow king. I want to see people remake Doom in this game, though. And you know someone's probably already working on it. Like, I'll, okay. I'll bet you there's already somebody... Gin and tonic hype? Nice. I'll bet you that somebody is already working on Doom. And I'll bet you somebody else is already working on Half-Life for this game. And you know what? I'm gonna play both of them. God damn it. Because the level editor for this game is literally just like literal fucking dev tools. Like they included the like straight up dev tools in the game as the level editor. So if this game does even remotely decent, which it will. <laughs> Live. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, I'm disappointed. How do I get back up there? There's stuff up there I want. Eh. Oh. Oh well. one rocket. Yeah, no, supposedly there's about four hours of campaign in the game right now for the early access. Which... If it's four hours at this quality, that's the perfect length in my opinion because it won't outstay its welcome and I can come back later as they add more shit. Because this just is really good. I'm so glad I've got new internet so I can actually stream this shit. And like, this is hard mode, right? And there's... There is two easier difficult... Like, all of the difficulties? This is hard, right? It's, you know, not hard. It's... It's fun difficult for me, right? I'll bet you if you put it up to ultra hard, you'll die in one hit. But if you put this on ultra easy, like, anybody could play this and enjoy it. Whoa! Hmm. <laughs> 
that checkpoint. There's another route I gotta go back there. Hold up. Let's just run back real quick. Okay, so this is the area I've already been. Ammo I don't need. Cool. Oh, man. This is actually one of those games I need to stop playing for a minute and just, like, breathe. <laughs> What do you mean I noticed you this time, Gimper? Are you just like posting that occasionally? I mean, Doom Point Five side story was um, Doom 64, right? <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Oh, did I thank be like, whoops. Wrong pink name, apologies. This game requires a lot of eyeball. And I only have one, so I can either look at game or chat, and I've clearly not been looking at chat fully. I wish I could hold more ammo, but I think they want me swapping guns constantly. All right, let's fucking go, shall we? I love that if you time the door open just perfect, you don't even need to stop sprinting. You miss you Quake 3 Arena and Quake Live? I mean, if you want a game like Quake, you gotta play Dusk. Oh my god. He's behind a forest field. The fuck? Okay, there we go. He comes out. Oh. Bleh. Ooh. New toys. Ow. Okay, don't stand next to red barrels. They hurt. <laughs> oh, this is... This is sinful. <laughs> I love video games, chat. They get it. They know what makes shooters good. People still understand it. <laughs> oh, God. It's very rare that I say that video games are better than sex, but this is one of those situations. <laughs> Everything about this is just too fucking good. Like the music, the sound effects, the visuals, just everything about this. Oh. 
And Quake Live is no longer Steam after it's on Steam. It went pay to play. Yeah, I know. I mean, you can still go back and play OG Quake. There's still people playing Quake. Yeah, I mean, it, it, sex is great, but like, if you don't have that as an option, this game exists. So, um, Humble Games, when are you putting this uh, vinyl soundtrack out? Because I want to buy it. <laughs> I mean, why not both those, Cyrillac? Let's be honest. Do I even want to look at the high scores? Oh, there you go. There's the fastest time for the... Compared to... Oh, what? Am I actually 704 in the world? <laughs> Somebody beat this level in 10 minutes. That's cool. They got global leaderboards. That's way too high. Okay, I need to get up to 666. I don't want... You don't want to be number one. You want to be 666. Last Ottoman. That that person's got the... Whew. Oh, really? You played Eve with the wife? You didn't meet your wife on Eve, did you? Because that would just be scary. No, you're right. I'm looking for low times. There's got to be like a... Oh, there, there you go. This is the fastest times. Eight minutes. Dank. <laughs> what, what are we at for time? That was the 200... Eh, 265th fastest run. No? Okay, that's good. Ugh. By the way, they did give me key for this, so this is a completely biased review, but seriously, fuck. You know, normally my stream is like, you know, me having se relatively serious discussions with chat, right? This game is just me being a giddy fanboy. Like, oh, interesting. It's like this UX, like I, I'm not super hot on, like I don't actually like their UI design, but the second you get in game, Everything's just perfect. Be like, is this making you motion sick? I'm genuinely curious. God, this game's so good. Even like right down to the little whoa, whoa, sound he makes when you jump. This is fucking perfect. Who's ready, chat? Let's go. Whee! Okay, that hurt. Way to start it off hot. I'm just taking my time. I don't I don't care about score or anything. I'm just savoring this. Whee! You picked up Caves of Cud? Let me know if you enjoy it. You're certain you're gonna be sick? It is pretty fast. Apologies, B-Lug. Question is, does this game have fall damage? Probably? You shoot their arms off. Like... <laughs> Like, it's just, uh. Also, B-Lug or uh, Gimper, somebody in chat, could you DM that uh, clip to Stone Hobo? Because he wanted to know what I thought of this game before he bought it, and I think he's lurk. I think he's not here right now.
also. That's new music. Ooh, that's gnarly. I like that. So far, it's good. You died pretty fast, though. Oh, that's totally normal. <laughs> Everybody will die really fast. No ammo for the rocket launcher. Please. P fucking pathetic. They expect me to find ammunition? What is this? Alright, where am I headed here? I think I was supposed to come out of this. I'm enjoying the music, but I don't know where I'm going, which is fine. Hmm. Oh, probably up there. If I had to guess, actually. Yeah, that looks right. There we go. Things to shoot. What, that you're DMing Hobo? Nah, it's fine. He'll know what's up. He'll figure it out. Okay, so that's the way I came out. That's where we started. <laughs> hmm. Am I going up or something? There's like a ledge over there. I think I was supposed to go down this way. There's definitely a door up there. Oh, I see. Derp. <laughs> I missed the button. This is... Possibly the most crypt metal thing I've played in a long time. Ow! Ya dick! <laughs> Let's do it again. Oh, hey, they give me more ammo. The game's pretty generous with its checkpoints. So that's nice. It really is. Eh. It's like someone really liked Brutal Doom and was like, yo, let's make Brutal Doom and do a new game. I love that, like, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm not just shooting things and killing them. I'm shooting them and decapitating them in multiple places and making their animations change before they actually die. Like those little dudes that stand back and fire fireballs at you? You shoot their arm off and then they only shoot one fireball at you. Like... There's so many little details going on in this shit. Like, look at that! He's only got one arm and then it changes his animation, like... Ugh. I'm geeking out over this shit, Jack. <laughs>
Is that a new gun? Or no, that was just ammo for them for this. Okay, gotcha. All right, where are we headed? Probably over there. Over that way? Up that thing? Maybe up this side, back here? Oh, I see where we're headed. I think. Probably over there. There was a button for bridge? Probably. I mean, I pushed that. Oh, there. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I don't have a Cryptgasm emote, but right now I kind of wish I did. <laughs> this is the most fun I've had with the new game all year. And I just played Dusk. Like, Dusk is good, right? But like, nah, they've done that shit on this. Although I think it might partially be my love of metal because this, this soundtrack's a fucking banger. There's a button up there. Okay, so you can't sprint while you're spinning. Shot. Oh. Also, ammunition seems to be really well balanced. I keep running out of ammo on different guns, and it's forcing me to use ones. Dusk is nowhere near close to this, gameplay or audio-wise. Dusk is really fucking good. Like, I'm not knocking Dusk, but... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is leaving it in the dust. Fucking gnarly. We should make pasta. Pasta with chicken. I'm probably gonna have pasta for dinner too. Ah. Oh, I'm on glass, okay. I wish I was dual wielding pistols though. It's kind of the one weapon that I'm not super huge on right now. Hope that glass doesn't break. I hope it does. Squad! Thank you so fucking much, man. Oh, also, gonna die. 41 months! Oh, I'm making lots of things die. You fucking bet. Was going for Quake? Well, this is more going for Doom. Yeah, and while, as much as I loved Quake, Doom's my shit. You know, <laughs> like I, I, I fucking kind of miss Doom as a little kid because I wasn't allowed to play evil games about guns, but you bet your ass I played that shit even though I wasn't allowed to. <laughs> Whoa. Also, the fact that this thing comes with its dev tools built in is 
just fantastic. Like, when was the last time you bought a game that came with its dev tools built in to just let you build more fucking levels? Oh, okay. Platforming. Chat, can I get a big old proper round of beers for Squug? Keeping that sub alive for 41 months. All right, so where am I headed? It stopped, so... Oh, what? Oh, okay, so I still take damage there. Oh, there we go. You know what, sure. I know it's kind of hard to hear the sub sound when, like, there's so much more metal going on, but... I also like that the accuracy of these guns change if you're firing one versus if you're firing both. Like, the spread is way wi wider if you're firing both. If you only fire one, they're almost pinpoint accurate. Okay, that's new. That dude explodes into acid. Okay, good to know. Fucking 41 months indeed. It's a goddamn long time. Hey, Speed. What's up, man? Hey. I need to breathe. Yeah, no, legit. I haven't had this much fun with a shooter since Doom 2016. For reference, I didn't play Eternal, but... But goddamn. Also, Gimper, do me a big favor. Put a hashtag ad on that, please. When you post that. Because that does support me financially. Okay, so that turns me back around. Right, gotcha. I know where I am now. Can I jump that far? No, I can't. Just bought Ultra Kill. This will be your next purchase when you get paid. I didn't buy Ultra Kill, and I didn't buy Ultra Kill because I'm not super huge on that kind of uh, combo system it's got built into it. But that game does look cool. It would be on a list of a game I would play in the future, probably once it's done. I'd want a full campaign, though, more than a... Uh, more of a... Because I know, like, the meat of that game right now is... Um, the meat of that game is a lot more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of the endless mode, which isn't really what I'm interested in. I'd want, I'd wait for that one to be done, currently. There's a button. But this is where I came from, so. Let's go back to where I was. Rocket jump? Uh... Oh, I mean, you can strafe jump on this. I just haven't been. I mean, the, the new blood release that I'm looking forward to 
is uh, Gloomwood. Super duper looking forward to Gloomwood. There's so much stuff back here that I still need to grab. Whoa! Okay. Oh, pff. I just backtracked a lot. I love how interconnected the level design is in this. That's fine, though. No, this is where I'm supposed to go. Think you can jump into it from the backside? Oh, probably. I do love how interconnected these levels are. Yeah, no, Ultra Kill looks really good. It's just not what I want from a shooter right now. What do you mean, Undead? Do you mean, like, early access games, or...? Because, yeah, I, I get that. I mean, there, there's part of me that would highly recommend you wait for this game to be done before you buy it, but... Because it is in early access. But as far as an early access release goes, this game feels fucking good. Okay, let's go grab more stuff. We... I also love that you can, like, touch the hot bad stuff once... If you touch it a second time, it does damage to you. <laughs> oh, what? I didn't activate that checkpoint the first time? How much is this? Um, this game is 28 Canadian dollars. So whatever your regional equivalent is. So probably 25? 23? I don't actually know. Americans, how much is this in USD? Because as a Canadian, it's it's uh, the 28. All right. Yep. Whee! Boing. It's on Steam and it's on Humble. Well, I, you don't need to wait for it to be cracked because you'll just get banned for... It's also on GOG? I actually didn't know that. Good to know. DRM free on gig. Oh, there we go. That's the button I was looking for the first time. Oop. Gotcha. Well, you never know. Sometimes um, EU gets screwed on prices, but then again, sometimes Canada gets screwed on prices, so who knows? It's hard to say. That's gonna be what I'm gonna save those for is those bug things. Okay, there's a thing over there I should go grab. Doop. Doop doop. But yeah, good to know, Templar. Cheers. Eh. and everything. Ow. 
Seems like what? Quick draw, McDraw on that ban hammer? Yeah, no, I mean, if you're a shithead, I'll just remove you, and that person was being a shithead. I don't fucking care. I'll tab my game out to ban you. I don't. For every shithead, I got a dozen great people that I'd like to keep around. Don't need shitheads. We have very simple rules here. Don't be an ass. If it's gonna be an ass, I'll remove you. What he said. The funny part about that death I had a minute ago is that was mostly my own fault. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa, it's a fucking train. Holy shit. It's a train that brought more zombies. It's the best kind of train. That's the equivalent of a hype train right there. If I could aim, <laughs> which clearly I can't. We Half-Life now? Yeah, because train automatically make it Half-Life, right? <laughs> Fuck yeah. I like how it's like you killed 98% of the enemies. It's like, where's the one dude I missed? Sorry, I'm just over here head banging, just enjoying. Yeah, no, Half-Life did invent trains. This is this is a known fact. Yeah, I want this on vinyl. So bad right now. <sighs> yeah, this is easily the most fun I've had this year. I don't know if Gate Nerd is still in the chat, but Gate Nerd would seem to be, uh... Agree. <laughs> God damn. And I didn't even find any of the secrets that time, like... So that's the next actual level, so then what's this? Oh, is that like a challenge level? And that's a locked thing that I... Okay, interesting. So I need to unlock more of these to get that. You're buying it now? Cheers, dude. Have fun. Let's go see what that challenge is. Oh, it's an, okay, trials, I get it. So shotgun trial and whatever those are. We'll come back for that. Do those after you finish campaign, IMO. I'm actually curious. I like how I didn't get any stars on that. How did I do on the other levels? I'm like, man, these are pretty hefty too. Like, this was what, a 30 minute level? 23 minutes? I'm sure you'll beat it faster in subsequent playthroughs, but. Oh, man. <laughs> and, you know, because, like, as, as I was saying earlier, the game comes with full dev tools. Like, the game's dev tools that were used to make this game come with it. So, someone is probably just gonna make Doom. Like, they did it for Dusk. Why wouldn't they do it for this? Like, it's right on the main menu. Straight up dev tools. So here's a real question. Did we hit this dude with the train? Do you think we hit him? Also, can I go behind the train? I can. Can I go back on the train? No. Aw. Uh -huh. Anything on? Like, no. no mm. It's a very interesting train driving UX. <laughs> we.
I'm just gonna chill with this new music for a second here. What for this lump? Quake is a lot more uh, is a lot closer to uh, dusk. This is uh, like the most Doom thing I've played since Doom. Like genuinely, this is the most Doom game I've ever played. <laughs> This honestly feels more like Doom than Doom 3 did. Yeah, it feels like Brutal Doom, exactly. But like, kind of better in a way. I don't know. Like, I, I played I, I played OG Doom, right? I've also played through and finished Brutal Doom. I think I like this more than Brutal Doom. This is like Doom 2.5. Brutal Doom 2.5, how's that? Ow! That fucking hurts. Yeah, when do we get... Except here's the thing, right? Brutal Protus would just, like, demake Protus and give it the Doom combat uh, mechanics. So, like, you can't aim up. Just, like, all keyboard control mode. <laughs> Cheers to whoever just bought this on Humble. Thanks, guys. Ooh, this is new. We're getting a little bit more hellish with the level layouts. Ooh. I'm making you act up. Hey, you're making you act up. I am not doing anything. I'm simply just g giggling about how great this game is. Ah! Hey man, you know, most of the time this channel is showing you free games that are open source or completely free that you can just download and play that are fantastic, you know, Dwarf Fortress and Brogue just to name two that we've been playing that we play a fuckload around here and it's just like every now and again or like alternatively very affordable. Whenever there's a game that I'm playing, it's a game that's fucking worth playing. I don't play shit. Ow! Let's just do this. But jeez, thanks for showing me this. Glad I could be of service. Salute to you, friend. Is there a way in there? There's gotta be. Eh! Ow, 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 ow. Fire hot. cross between Doom and Aliens. You want to know what my favorite science fiction video game franchise is? Doom. You know what my favorite science fiction film franchise is? Aliens. Well, a Aliens specifically, but Aliens is, is a fucking great movie too. Also, can someone please make an Alien conversion mod? Thanks. Someone just make that. I'll play it. Thanks, b -Log, for spamming that shit. Oh, hello. Um. Oh, I see. What? Oh, Jesus. He had no arms left. I'm not gonna lie, the decapitation kind of makes it. This is a secret wall? Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling that's where I'm supposed to go, but there's still stuff in there. How do I get in there? Maybe, no, I don't know. Maybe I'll come back around. Do 
Gimper's doing a real good job spamming that shit, and I keep calling him B-Lug, and I feel real bad about it. I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? I'm just gonna, like, start calling Gimper B-Lug just to annoy him now. Hey! Uh-uh. I thought that was gonna come squish me. Streamer's good. Eh. Ow. <laughs> I was like, that's gonna squish me, isn't it? You think streamer great? Streamer's terrible. What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> and I did it again. Okay, just kill me this time. I deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> Watch out for a speedy cube. It make dead. But there's armor over there and I want it. Streamer is aggressively all right. I'll take it. Is that going to squish me if I stand here? Oh. Elevator broken. I think we need to call a repair boy. You know, it's funny because my mother watches my stream, yeah? And she doesn't like this kind of thing at all. And I have this weird feeling, next time I see my mom, she's gonna make sort of a passive-aggressive comment about how I was playing a very violent game the other day and it was scary. Love you, mom. Is this what you want the children to see? <laughs> Although the irony of it is like, for some reason my parents are convinced that the average age of people who watch my stream are like children, right? They don't believe me that most of the people who watch my stream are older than me, <laughs> or at the very least grown ass adults. Uh. Boom! Oh, that was bad. That was a bad, that was a big bad, okay. I don't see those things enough. There we go, this is better. Owie. Man, children maybe? Yeah. Children of 27, yeah. Well, I mean, never growing up is, is the best way to live, right? Ah! Okay, you need to go. Okay. You must go. Bye bye. Okay. Hey! I haven't found a cacodemon equivalent yet. Where's the cacodemon? Oh, hello. Splatter. You're not doing so well? You feeling okay, Hobo? Hey, Hobo, if anything's gonna make you feel better, it's this shit. Just, just. And I died at the end of that combat arena.
Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I don't know if I can say anything, Hobo, so. Eh. But what I will say is you need to get this game and play it because it's really fucking good. When by really? I get ID'd when I'm wearing- if I'm wearing a hat, I get ID'd. If I'm not wearing a hat, I don't get ID'd, because if I'm not wearing a hat, they can see my, uh, gray hair. <laughs> like, I'm 27 and I never get ID'd anymore. I love that you can just keep shooting bodies and blood keeps coming out. It's, it's really good. You want blood? Here, we'll give you more blood! Uh, Hobo, uh, so someone relink that clip, unless you watch the clip that uh, Gimper sent you, that I got Gimper to send you. Because, yes, it's that good. This is the most fun I've had with a first-person shooter this year, and I literally was just playing Dusk on Halloween. <laughs> In fact, I would say this is the most fun I've had since Doom 2016. Whoa! Did I not play Eternal? No, I didn't. I didn't play Eternal because Eternal was focusing way too hard on the combos. And I took kind of... So, for clarity's sake, for anybody who's new here, I'm legally blind, okay? I don't see very well. Um, games that focus on incredibly specific timing windows, I can't play. Um, watching Doom Eternal, it's focusing on everything I didn't like about Doom 2016 while at the same time not necessarily removing, but changing things I liked about Doom 2016 to what I wouldn't want. Um, so I look at Eternal and I go, this is focusing and doubling down on the mechanics I didn't like about 2016, so I'll play it once it gets down to like 15 bucks. Um, because I know for a fact I won't be physically capable of finishing it unless I turn on like invulnerability or something. But a game like this, which is more of the traditional, like, kind of dodge shit and shoot off limbs, I, is much more playable. Because this is more Doom 2016 mechanically than uh, Eternal. Which is the exact same reason I avoided Ultra Kill. Because it's more focused on the combos and that sort of stuff, which I'm mechanically incapable of playing properly. Although, being critical, this area is boring looking. I hope it doesn't last too long. Not a big fan of caves. Oh, there we go. It's almost over already. Perfect. Button? I see checkpoint. Do you have friends who despise it? I don't despise it. There was a time in my life where I loved that shit. I just... I, I can't do it anymore because of how my eyes have degraded. It's actually the reason why I like old school shooters a lot more than modern shooters, because gray shooters, everything just kind of runs together. God, I love the decapitation so much. Shooting shit in half, shooting up the legs, shooting up the arms. Interesting. Ah!
Oh, I thought you died. Devs didn't have to worry too much about the level complexity so they could focus on the enemies. The, the caves need some rock uh, fun formations and crystals. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I'm already fine with these caves again because I actually have more than just cave, you know? Like, if it all looked like this kind of nook here, yeah, that would suck. But we've got, like, these interesting, this, these interesting, like, elements to it now. Like, they kind of did away with the boring caves pretty quick. I do actually wonder how big the team is that worked on this. Genuinely curious about that. <laughs> yeah, even just the, gray, the the red glowing vents. Yeah, like that's enough. Uh, later tonight, I don't know. Probably Brogue. Rogue's the night stream game right now. I mean, why would I play Ziggurat when this exists? Uh, hey. Ryan, buy this game right now! Buy this game right now! It's really fucking good. Thanks, Gimper. I'm <laughs> a boring cave. As long as your last name ain't Johnson. Just keep taking lefts until I figure out where I'm going. There's gotta be a button or something. Hmm. You just bought a bunch of LPs off someone? Is it dead? I guess so. I think I remember two of the guys that were working on this worked at Raven. Oh, interesting. Ah. You have a dental fill in the morning? Oh, that sucks. Ryan, here's why you'll like this game. Look at this. High scores. Okay, based on score time based on speed and then i think that's both i'm not I, i'm actually i'm actually not sure what that is based on all the different difficulties that you've beaten also check this out this, this is this i'll be honest right here the, the 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 main menu that i'm about to show you is the thing that sold me on this immediately uh can i go back to the main menu menu uh Save and quit, I guess. It'll make me do that. Oh, sweet. Um, let's just back out, back out. Level editor. Yeah, they just include the dev tools in the game. <laughs> How many games do this? No one does this anymore. I, it literally came out this morning, so yeah. Black hole. It's still being worked on. It came out today. This is brand new in early access. Yes, it's still being worked on. Two dudes and a composer? Fuck yeah. As it goddamn should be. What? This thing has its times way off.
It is certainly not 1.15 in the morning. <laughs> It's the guy that did the music for that? Oh, really? I like the music in this about a thousand times more. Timing UTC? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it confused me for a second. Relearning Hammer is absolutely garbage? I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's only 5.15 here. Which is basically just UTC. Yeah, it sounds about right. Seems there are only four people working on this game. I believe it. I mean, it runs in Unity, so. They're using... Uh-oh. New toys! Oh. Yeah, we were just saying that. All right. All right, all right, all right. Good, good, good. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it's a rail gun and like a fucking lightning bolt? Okay, let's go. Did some stuff for Doom Eternal DLC as well. I mean, Mick Gordon's no longer on Doom, so it doesn't surprise me. I also love these outdoor environments. They're real nice feeling. Also, blood just, like, covers everything and it sticks around. Yeah. Ow. Didn't see that until it was too late. Oh, hello. Man, I'm Jimby. Can you bunny hop? Uh, yes. Ah! Also, you can step on lava once and then it starts to hurt you. God. Look, look at that shit. This is cheese to the max. It's perfect. I need chain gun. <sighs> I like the fact that the acid blood hurts more than lava, though. Ah! You can also detonate the rockets in midair. <laughs> like that and kill yourself. Luckily, the most recent checkpoint was close. Lava needs a... All I'm saying is they need to buff Lava. Lava's been nerfed too hard in this. God. This thing literally lets out a thunderclap.
like, uh... Oh, I don't have much ammo. Once again, this thing's on Humble, so if you do want to buy this and give me 5%, you can buy that through Humble. A little bit low on the health. And Gimper's got that link on lock. Uh, there's another checkpoint. And I'm about to die. Maybe. Hopefully not. Ow. He'll buy it on Humble next week. I mean, it, it ain't going anywhere. I'm not playing on the hardest difficulty either. This is hard. There's two above this. I'm not that brave. Also, for whatever reason, if you want to, you can turn off all of the sprites and just use 3D models. So if you're a horrible person that doesn't like class and style, you can turn this stuff off. Oh, dude, this is very much an individual level speed game. It even has fucking built-in global leaderboards, man. And I can feel okay about my scores today because the game only just came out. By tomorrow, I'm going to just cry when I look at it. Cause I don't, I'm not good at video games. I don't pretend to be. I'm just a relatively entertaining individual who is relatively entertaining while playing relatively good video games. Or incredibly good video games in this case. All right, where's the baddies? The game's under one gig. Oh yeah, no, it's like 800 megs download. I mean, it's not like we're running, like, ultra high-res textures or anything. I'm concerned. I don't have anything to shoot. I must have missed a button. Ah. Let's just shine on Hunter Megs. Yep, sounds about right. I think for someone who's an incredibly seasoned shooter player, this difficulty would be too easy, but for somebody like me where you know I can I can see well enough to play, this is good fun. Could replace Ghost Runner. That's fast. Ghost Runner only just came out. Have you finished Ghost Runner yet? Although keep in mind, this game isn't finished, right? It's early access. About 15 times. Oh. <laughs> okay. New enemies! I know you! Ghost Runner's speed? Fair enough. Also, the enemies friendly fire each other. I cannot even begin to describe how awesome that feels. To just watch a baddie just like friendly fire his friend from behind. If 
button. Okay, let's go. Okay, need that shield. Ah, how'd you get behind me? I keep trying to reload this gun and I don't need to. That's a secret? Okay. We did it. Skipped a lot of enemies that time. Let's cheap Parmesan. Always buy the expensive cheese. It's the... It's the actual secret to happiness, squad. Responding to a DM. You're off the leaderboard now? I mean, I'm curious as to where I'm at. I'm 150 on overall score for this level on this difficulty. Time? I'm 34? I think I'm getting pretty far into what people have actually played. Separate leaderboards for every difficulty level, too. Fingers crossed for you, Gimper. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep playing unless there's uh, any objections, you know. Inbounds record for Ghost Runners, 46 minutes and 12 seconds, really? You wanted to see the locked level? Oh, it this thing? Oh, just see what it is? Chaos generator. Device known as, uh, you know, fuck it. Why would I read? This isn't a game about reading. Okay. Let's go. Hey. You know, I need to use better gun. Also, I love this outdoor aesthetic. This is beautiful. Ooh. I kind of love the Mario World Select, though, for this. It's kind of funny. Yeah, right? Reading? Come on. Shooty, shooty, gun, gun. That's all I'm here for. I'm not here for reading. What do you take me for? Some kind of intelligent person? Nah. I'm merely a violent slob here to murder and kill all of the stuff. Destroy the shields with what? Gun? Oh, hello.
It's a gun. Yeah, yes. Sh shooty, shooty, gun, gun game. Don't worry about reading. Although that being said, Doom 2016's codex stuff was actually well written as hell. Oh Jesus! <clears throat> More music I haven't heard before, and fuck, it's still so good. Soundtrack of the year, maybe. Even the pistol's fucking good. We're kind of in a synthwave mood here now. Very Carpenter Brute. Eating those. Ah! Carpenter Brit has some good stuff here. Not stuff I'll sit down and just listen to, but I like it in context with the right atmosphere, you know? Listen to this. Like those horns in the background? Just my fucking Christ. Look at the streamer kill himself. <laughs> He's so good at video games. Holy shit. Yeah, this is much more of an arena level design. Jump fine with. <laughs> Maybe not the best idea right there. Whew. Yeah, you can like just fucking bounce off shit <laughs> if you're good at movement, which I'm not. Although I'll bet you. No? Okay. How the heck do I get up there? I need to figure it out. It's fucking brilliant, Scubs. Early access, but ooh, this is the most fun I've had with a shooter in years. Initially, I was saying in 2020, but nah, in, in, in actual years. Oh, come on. How the heck do I get up there? And Bob Tron, it's going fucking fantastic. How are you? There we go. I was overthinking it. Excuse me while I just have a fucking thunderclap cannon. Yeah, I, st I think I saw like five minutes of footage of, not even like 30 seconds of footage of this 
at some event. It might have even been E3, actually. And I was just like, yep, playing that. <clears throat> just, that was about where, or playing that, that was about where the discussion began and ended. It was very much a, yep, playing that. <laughs> no questions. That looks good. I want that. It's literally just thunder. The gun. Oh. Reminds you of Hexen? Hey, this is doom ass as doom as doom can get, but certainly Hexen's of the same ilk. Yeah, it, this is like Doom 2.5 if it was Brutal Doom. So this is like a bonus level. So this is kind of different from the rest of the game. It's all about destroying these generators. The rest of the game so far has been much more just like structured. There we go. Ooh. Oh, hello. Eh. Yeah. Let's get out of the target. didn't even kill him. <laughs> I think I missed. Maybe I hit the guy in front of him. It's a fucking chain lightning gun. This is the most doom I've felt since Jupiter Hell. Whew. Trying to get back out to where we started. So I can get to the, where that key card is. Oh, hello. Uh. Checkpoint. All right. I'm glad I could be of service, Scubs. It's literally my fucking job. Fuck, I just want to stop and just jam to this fucking music for a second here. God! And there we go. That was a fucking bonus level. Like, listen to that. It's got a different baseline for this area. Listen, let's, mm. That baseline wasn't in any of the other levels. Like, the music's evolving and they're adding layers and it's so fucking good. You know, this is 
I've never really felt the need for a, a Cryptgasm emote, but God, I need it for this. <laughs> Shit slaps, man. Where are we at? 170. Nice. 80. Woo! Feeling good. I mean, I only need like 470 sub points to unlock another emo. Jesus, man. Oh, hey, there's a whole route of alternate levels here. Neat. And then these are all just like challenge levels. Oh. What seasoning should you use? What seasoning do you have? That's the question. I might be crazy, but I think ammo is persistent from level to level. Also, just like the... the your gun just gets covered in blood, and it like slowly goes away, like... Oh, everything about this thing's style is just perfect. But Hobo's the person you should ask, because Hobo's the actual chef here. Decapitation. Tacos of spice. T I L. Oh, new toys. Okay, let's see this. Okay, and then there's this. Okay, so stickies and non stickies. Watch me kill myself with this. Also, they kill on impact. They blow up on impact. Nice. Green key required. All right. Well, I know where I'm coming. Coming back to. Let's go. Big scary portal. Um Okay, so I need two cards. Let's just grab that. Hop over here, grab that. Yeah, I, I can't, like, even begin to compliment the level design enough on this. Because I, while the levels are maze-like, I haven't gotten lost yet. Everything just feels unique enough that it's, I don't know, everything's so fucking well laid out. Oh. Taste that, motherfucker. Woo! Got more grenades.
I mean, Mexican no Mexico knows how to spice shit, so I would tend to agree with that. Okay, so there's a way up there somehow. Like, I, I, when, when you need to stop and breathe, you know it's a good FPS. You know, I think I like this more than Doom 2016. I, I remember one of the first reviews I saw for this on Steam when I took a peek before I started streaming was, this gives Doom Eternal a run for its money. And you know, honestly, it's certainly giving 2016 a run for its money. For me at this point. Green key. Let's see what's over this way real quick. Whoa! Because that takes me back to where I was. Ah. Oh, this just takes me to the other door. Interesting. Uh-oh. Hey, it's hot down here! We have a problem! Is there a way back up, or am I just dead? There's a way back up! got to be a way back up. There we go. Well, I killed stuff over here already, so. Also, God, actually, this is... That's the way back up, and this is the area that you come in here event originally. That's really neat, actually. It's really well laid out. I, I, I'm just assuming chat you guys you guys got your shit all good you, you don't need me because I'm just I'm just over here you know shooting stuff right all right so that's just like ammo reload if you need it anything else in here doesn't seem to be Wahahaha! <laughs> The corpse of this thing is getting in the way. So now I need the yellow key card, which I'm assuming is this way, considering we already did that side. Who needs streamer? I, not me, that's for sure. v -log. Especially when I give you credit for stuff other people do. That's... So be like, is this just making you seasick? Because God, this game is so good. <laughs> I 
Thanks, Gimper. Nah. This would actually have been the better spot to go first. Going to go start a fire? Okay, just don't get arrested for arson. Not that you could actually set anything on fire because you guys are probably under like 18 feet of snow, if I had to guess. Yeah, I did it. This has been an absolutely fucking fabulous way to spend an evening at, towards the end of a stream. And you bet your ass we're going to get some more of this over the next few days. And whenever there's new levels, you bet your ass I'm going to poke it. And once the mod scene gets going, you bet your ass I'm going to fucking play it. Because, so oh. That's all I can say is, oh. Alrighty, hobo, you get a good night's sleep, man. Seriously, get a good night's sleep. Feel better, dude. Charge laser costs five ammo. Yeah, I know. I figured that out. But why would I use the little dinky light bolt, lightning bolt thing when I can use a fucking... Boom! I mean, come on. I'm okay with spending that ammo. That's fine. I got plenty of other ammos. Even this pistol is still fucking good. Like, the pistol is good. Ugh. Oh, you're saying the dinky lighting wasn't worth it? Oh, okay. I mean, one-shot kill versus dinky lightning. Definitely going for one-shot kill. Very appropriate sound. Although, I'm pretty sure Wilhelm's screams are also pretty appropriate. There you go. That one, not so much. <sighs> also, the environments are so varied. Like, yeah, it's all like, you know, red 
science fiction and Satan, blah, 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 but like, there's a lot of variety to cover in red. Alright, I want that armor though. Oh hey, that takes me out. This game teases you with its secrets. Bye bye. Go away. Thank you. You too. Oh, fuck you. Where'd you come from? Cease! Alright, chat. So, as much as I'd love to just fucking power through this in one day... I've been streaming for nine hours and I'm getting hungry. So, um... My current review... Of this video game... As it sits... This is easily... The most fun... I've had with a first-person shooter since Doom 2016. I'm two hours in. This is fucking wonderful. For those of you who hang out a lot, keep an eye out for an evening stream. Um, my only complaint about this game is it, from what I can tell, actually, doesn't have borderless windowed mode. <laughs> That's my only complaint. Everything else about this is basically sublime. Let me get this closed in the background. Ugh. That was fucking great. <laughs> so. So. We will definitely be playing more of that. Right? We will finish it. Whatever content's in the game, I think we're around uh, about halfway through, based on what they've said in the blog posts. Um, Bobtron, thanks for watching. Gimper, thanks for all the links. If you do pick this game up and use that link, I get 5%. What? Do what you will, really. Um, might chuck this VOD up on YouTube as like a first impression. Eh. Uh, but seriously, thank you so much to those of you who stuck around and hung out, because fuck that game. It was a blast.